Hello everyone and welcome to another restoration video. This time I'm finally going to refurbish the Nokia X3 zero, zero. You saw this phone in my previous uh, unboxing videos and this is a no way. This is a Nokia X3. <laughs> it's pretty awesome and uh, <clears throat> fully functional. These buttons are not pressing correctly and uh, if I play a song oh now it works it has stereo speakers up and down and this uh, the lower one it, it has uh, problems with the connector I think when I pressed it it sounded better I'm going to fix it anyway And also I see that the button lights up by the melody, just like the Sony Ericsson W850i, which I have by the way. <laughs> so enough chit chat, let's begin. Come on, why is this so hard to take off? Oh, oh my god! It has something here that stops it? No. Dude, I know for a certainty that this is how you're supposed to take it out. Yes, finally. Also, this thing just fell off. It's broken, so I'm gonna change it anyway. Ha! Made in Romania! Oh my god! One, the, the, one of the phones that I like is made in my country. Holy! Well, holy and that's that. Just take the memory card out as well. If I say you're going out, you're going out, bitch! Okay, let's begin the disassembly. Easy, come on, come on. Oh, all right, the flex cable is sideways this time. I have to be careful because I don't know if I have a flex cable for this guy. Okay, careful and take this one out. I almost snapped the main board and that would have been bad. <laughs> Come on, dude, get off of here. Yes, finally. Yeah, apparently, it's underneath this thing. <laughs> I tested the camera and it was blurry. No wonder it was blurry, it's full of dust. See? Well, since I'm in the lower half now, let's take everything out. Actually, this should be an easy push from the behind. Ha, huh, get it. The little charging port. Now I should also take the earphone jack. No, don't you dare break. Oh, come on, it had to break here. Oh, I should have a lot of speakers like that. has a clamp up and clamps to the side Z, to the side Z. there we go come on baby I know you want to open up to me a lot of dust part particles and hair but the display it's incredibly clean good I'm just gonna take the display out to properly clean it also I think I need a new earpiece for it Actually, the display is going to stay exactly where it is because it's glued back there and uh, there's no need to change it, so... Ha! I'll get to cleaning and to look for an earpiece like this one and hopefully I will find one. Be right back. Well, cleaned. Also, I need to find a replacement for the earpiece. Where could I find that? Oh yeah! It's compatible with the C6. And I happen to have these two C60s that are broken and I kept for parts for the one that I refurbished in a previous video 
and also made another video in which I changed the flex cable which had problems I'll just have to take it out of here should get out like this simple as saying simple ha didn't expect that now did you This is the position. Okay, you. Ouch. It's in position. Also, on the back side, it still has some scratches here. See, it's looking a lot clearer than before, except for these parts that are, well, there forever. I just used a fine sandpaper and just did it like this in the same way it's already made. You understand what I'm saying. And it's looking better than before, so I'm happy. Time for the new body shell, easy not to touch the screen inside, which apparently it's already dirty, dang it! Now for the buttons, well this time I'm making it a red one because well, yeah, I only have red body shells, <laughs> so it shouldn't be a problem, right? Okay, this has to get in here this in here like this this just in here like this and this should just get into position down here like so also here and there we have it something like this the buttons are pressing nicely Okay, now that this is good in place, let's screw this. Good, the front part is done. Now let me just put this one in its rightful place, which is here, uh, but not uh, yet, not yet. Why do they send this already assembled? It's annoying. Okay, I think this is adhesive underneath it. Hmm? Yes, it is. So we know we just have to put it in place and it's very sticky. Here is the hole for the microphone. There we go. Okay, it's in place. I'll go look for a speaker. Found one. And uh, how are you supposed to get in there? Detective mode activate. If it's like this, then it goes in like this. The sided one, right? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Man, I'm smart. Okay, putting in this cover back in and okay, starting to look more presentable. Clicking it in place. The buttons are pressing correctly, as they should be. After all, it's a Nokia. Good. Would you look at this beauty now? Let us put in the battery. This is just a protective cover, this blue thing. Let's put in the memory card. Good. It gets in with the nail. That's a good sign. Let's start it up. Mm. 
and we can also hear it down here which is a very very good thing nah we don't care about the date and time so let's get past it One hundred sixty-one hours. The phone is much more louder now. Go to media player. Well. It works. Let's see the camera now. Well, it has a protection cover over it, so yeah, I'm gonna keep it like that. This thing keeps popping off, I think I know why. Shouldn't be a problem. Hmm. Pretty good. Well, this was the restoration video of the Nokia X3. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. Also, here's uh, the to-do list. If you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. And as always, I wish you a very awesome day just like yourselves. Bye-bye. To the showcase.